Um, <laughs> it was uh, just my night. I was able to come in and uh, hit shots. <clears throat> I believe uh, Coach Coach believed I was going to come in and, and have a big impact in the game tonight. Uh, I've been playing really well in practice. So uh, I believe he uh, trusted me to go out there, and uh, luckily I was able to perform. And we were able to come out victorious. Tell me about the last month. You've probably not had a month. No, uh, this season has been a, a, a roller coaster for me, but um, that doesn't really matter. Uh, we're having a great season as a team, and that's what comes first. Um, we're number one in Mountain West, and that's that's the biggest key. Uh, we're on our way to another championship, and that's what we're looking forward to. Um, it doesn't really matter if my points are down, if my minutes are down. Uh, the team's winning, and that's that's the first focus. And when that first three went in tonight, though. Um... Oh, it felt great. <laughs> it felt great. Uh, I don't I don't think I hit a shot since Cincinnati, so. That first shot tonight in 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 the pit, uh, I felt amazing. Coach talked about you know people are going to focus on how you scored, but it was your defense that impressed all the What was kind of your mindset after that? I just wanted to bring a a tough mindset on the defensive end. Coach has been harping a lot about um, you know us being kind of soft on the defensive side. So I just wanted to go in there and um, you know help as much as I can if somebody got beat, and then uh, you know just play man up on my guy and and uh, try to contain him as best as I could. You kind of feel like you have the monkey off your back now that this kind of can be kind of a pivotal game in your season going forward that uh, you can put what's behind you and kind of focus on the next few games? Uh, it, it definitely helps with confidence. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I haven't hit a shot since Cincinnati, so I was pretty down on myself. But my teammates uh, did a great job in lifting me up. Uh, the coaches believed in my talents, and I've been believing in my talents as well, so I believe that showcased tonight. It feels great. Um, that's all I did last season towards the end of the year. So uh, I just want to get back to that. Uh, closing the game with my teammates, there, there's no better feeling in the world than that. It's just like going to war and uh, just coming out victorious. And, you know, tonight we did that. Um, that's the first time, maybe maybe the second time this season, I was able to close a game like that. And it felt really great, you know, just to come out and, and, and uh, provide another win and, and increase our winning streak. <clears throat> Coach, Coach said he thought you had the best week of practice defensively, obviously that was one of the things he, he keyed on and, and talked to really about your defensive effort. Just talk about that defensive effort there the last nine minutes. I mean, you guys were really able to kind of pull away from it because of that. Um, mainly we just wanted to strap up on uh, Deontay Burton and Malik Story. Um, we felt that those two guys were the keys to their success. So we wanted to just come out and uh, pressure those guys and make them make tough shots. And um, they, they did that tonight, but the people around them, um, didn't, and that's what we wanted to do. As long as we stopped the guys around them, um, we were going to come out victorious, and that's exactly what we did. How much more confidence do you have after tonight's game? A lot. Um, I feel like me again. Uh, I feel like I can come out and, and help the team every time I check in. So, you know, next game, hopefully coach can trust me again, and uh, I'm going to go out there and hopefully I can come out and have the same, the same game I did tonight. All right. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, he's he's one of our best players at practice, so it's only a matter of time and you know, he's been he's been a great part of this team. You know, he's you know, he's he's kept encouraging us on the bench and you know, he was really really important last season, you know, down the stretch. He was he was one of our best players. Um, he was our sixth man of the year last year. So, for him to do well tonight, it's a credit to him to for sticking at it and you know, we hope he can he can keep doing that throughout the rest of the season. Um, I just try and help out whatever way I can, you know, whether it's rebounding, assist wise, or tonight it was scoring. Um, so, you know, I'm very grateful that, you know, the, the coaching staff, my teammates have confidence in me to score when I need to. And, you know, Tony's going to respond. He'll bounce back next game. But, you know, to come out the win, um, to, it goes to show what this team can do when one guy's not uh, playing well, other guys can step up and create. So it was really important tonight. Yeah, shoot 56% tonight. That's, that's been a long time coming for this team. So what was working? I mean, I think what 22 assists Yeah, it'd be nice if we could put, you know, defense and offense together. I think our defense slipped a little bit tonight. Uh, they shot the ball really well and, 
you know, we were making shots and, you know, we, we felt like we were doing really well because we hadn't made shots like that in a while. But to look up at the scoreboard and it still be close throughout the whole game was was tough at times. But that's the thing. We, we, we respond and that's what this team does. You know, we, we take a loss and we go away and look at things. And for us to respond the way we have the last two games to execute uh, when we need to in particular has been really, really important. And, you know, Coach Neils, you know, he's, he's awesome. He put, puts us in great sets and he gives us great sets to run. So if we execute them, we're going to get good shots. There wasn't a, a big sp- or a specific change offensively in the past week. No, none at all. Just execute, just execution, and getting good shots. Um, we're a little bit stagnant. Well, very stagnant. Sorry, in the in the San Diego State game, they did a great job. So, for us, it, it, I mean, we've, we've to that point, we you know we've been really, really good, and we you know we're a top twenty team, and for a reason. So, you know, execution wise was is all we needed to do, and we've been able to adjust and do that the last two weeks. It, it, you guys just wouldn't enjoy the game. <laughs> it's been the theme of the season, that's for sure. You know, we, we try and keep the fans engaged, and I think we've done that throughout the season. Just to please the fans. Yeah, it all for the fans. <laughs> so you did come back with the one-point lead. Defense was seemed like like a, wasn't quite there up to that point, and then you guys come and get a, a, a run after that. What was the difference defensively for that little stretch? I think that's another theme of ours. We. We come to play when we need to. We can really finish games throughout, down the stretch, and you know we we, we go in four-minute games, and you know we kept it to a two-point four-minute game uh, down the stretch, and then we executed down the stretch. So, and I wish we could do it for 40 minutes. You know, we keep coaching those guys on their heels, um, but you know, we, we I guess we do it when we need to, and if we can put it together for 40 minutes, we're going to be extremely dangerous. Uh, execution again uh, this point in the season you know we it's it's a long grind and you know we can lose our focus a little bit if we're not careful so you know our, our priorities are working on our on, on our ex- offensive execution and defensively too uh, I guess after tonight's game we're gonna have to go away and look at the drawing board defensively um, because Air Force obviously they're coming in here we've, we've heard in the media they're coming to for first place here in Albuquerque so we're definitely looking forward to that challenge Well, we um we haven't really looked yet. We haven't looked at the a live game yet. We've followed them on TV a little bit and watched the stats. But you know, obviously, they're really competitive. Lions is having a great season, so we just got to do what we do. Uh, be tough uh, defensively and and certainly concentrate um, offensively and defensively and take care of home. That's the most important thing in this league. You know, taking care of home. So we're gonna definitely looking forward to the challenge. Coach mentioned he feels, especially in the last three games and maybe in the last four, um, that you guys are getting everybody's best shot. Um, tonight, you mentioned a little bit. You look up the scoreboard. Um, it's a lot like Wyoming. You guys did everything you wanted to, okay. game plan wise, at Wyoming, and they have a one point lead at halftime tonight. They're still with you. Do you feel the teams that are, are giving you a shot that looks better than what you see on film? Yeah, I mean, you look at San Diego State, you know, they, they killed us and then they go away and it's, it's this league, it's all about this league and for them to go on the, and, and lose, uh, it goes to show that, you know, teams are giving us our best shot and we, we love that, we love the challenge. Um, you know, being a ranked team, that's what comes, you know, it comes with it and I know when we play on the road, it's, it's one thing that I really don't look forward to if we lose and they storm the court, so we've got to do our best to prevent that from happening. Anything else for Fusenberg? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys.